What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of a Goodwill in New Haven, Connecticut. We're gonna head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's do it. You know, I've actually only ever been to this Goodwill, I think once in my life. So uh, I do not remember the layout at all. That's gonna be interesting. All right, so far all I'm seeing is clothing. Uh, maybe electronics and housewares are way in the back back there. So see furniture and housewares, we'll see. All right, I found a toy wall. This thing is packed with toys. So we're gonna have to, it's a little mix actually. There's some toys, some housewares, some Christmas stuff. So we'll do some digging, see if we find anything. All right guys, I actually turned around and there's board games also. So they actually have a lot of stuff stacked in here. We could definitely do some digging. I'm sure we'll find a couple things in here. All right guys, I think I spot something here. This little dinosaur guy. Look at him, he doesn't look like much, but on the bottom of him, he has a little Jurassic Park logo on his foot. I uh, think that means he's worth a little something. I see a bunch of other dinosaurs. And yeah, they're $1.99 each, so two bucks each. I'm sure he's two bucks each and his price tag just fell off. So I'm gonna look him up on eBay and see what we find. All right, so here he is. He's an Ankylosaurus, Ankylosaurus, I'm not sure. But brand new, sells pretty well. There's a used one for 17. What we wanna do is actually see the sold listings. So I'm gonna filter and go to sold listings and see what comes up. All right, a brand new one for $14 plus 10 shipping, so 24. It's pretty, here's a used one for 14 bucks, free shipping. Uh, $10 plus five shipping, so about $15 or so. That's not bad for a $2 little guy. It probably costs about four bucks to ship, so probably profit about eight, nine dollars on him. Now I'm curious about all these other dinosaurs. So this guy right here didn't have the same Jurassic World logo or any logo really, but I peeled back this sticker and I noticed this little logo right here. It's just a dinosaur. So it doesn't really give me much info at all. So I used Google Lens to take a picture of this guy. Google Lens works really well and I was able to figure out these are from 1987. They're the brand Play School. And uh, there's a whole bunch of them. And take a look at this. There's a lot of them for 30 right there. A really big one went, well, these aren't sold listings. These are listed, but 80 bucks. Let's take a look, quick look at solds see if anything comes up. So here we go, we're in the solds now. Looks like 13 plus six shipping, eight plus six, eight plus six. There's a little lot for 28. Uh, not bad, surprisingly. Here's one with a caveman for 25 plus shipping. So these are definitely worth some money. Oh, this guy right here, this protoceratops, he's right here. So there's a few of them actually. Here's some more up here. They're all $1.99 each. Oh, look, this guy on the tail. Uh, I know you guys can't really see it, but on the tail it says 1987 Play School. So there are a bunch of them. So, okay, we got some big ones here also. Is this the same thing or is this Jurassic World? Wow, I think this is the same thing. It is, I see that little logo on the back of his leg right there. So these are all the same. Maybe these bigger ones have some value. Gotta look into them. All right, so I found a sold listing of this guy. Here he is with a caveman for 22 bucks. The issue though, pretty sure his head's supposed to stay up, but when I let go of it, <laughs> yeah, all the tension is just gone. So that's that's a shame, gotta leave him behind. But there's a whole bunch of these guys at a buck 99 each, even the big ones. Like this guy right here, pretty cool for only a buck 99 and his neck, seems to still have full tension. So that, that might be a good little pick up here. Very surprised at how well these things sell. Not for crazy money, but you get a whole bunch of them. You find them for a buck 50 cents. I mean, these are $2 each, so it's right on the high end, higher end of what I wanna pay on them. But there's a bunch of them here. You could definitely make some good money. So these are all the dinosaurs I found. Great little pile. This guy I'm gonna put back because of the broken neck. But all of these all seem to be in pretty decent shape. The majority are good. I might end up just getting this guy. Nah, I'm probably just gonna grab them all. Why not? We'll see what happens. The Goodwill is selling Salvation Army mugs for 99 cents. 
There we go. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Guys, I find this Operation SpongeBob all the time. It sells for like 30 to 40 bucks. So I try to pick them up whenever I can. The majority of the time they're missing a bunch of pieces. So I'm gonna have to open this up and see if it's complete. So we have it all open here and just like I suspected, it doesn't have any of the little plastic playing pieces doesn't even have the tray that they're normally sitting in so gotta leave it behind almost every single time it's missing all these little plastic pieces so I'm going through all the board games here and I found some really cool ones I found a risk board game from 1963 up there and this really cool conflict game by Parker Brothers from 1960 all the player pieces look like they're like lead playing pieces or just metal playing pieces. They're very cool. Uh, and as I'm coming down, I noticed another risk. I saw this risk all the time. I believe it's from 1998. Let's see if it says, yes, 1998. And if you take a quick look on Amazon, here it is with an okay rank zone for 30 bucks on the low end. Uh, they're only asking two or $3 here, but you could actually get more than that one person undercutting like always it happens wait for them to sell you can get about 40 for it so the one issue i have with risk games is there's so many little pieces that it's really easy to be losing a few of them when i open this one up take a look at this i love to see it all the pieces are still brand new attached to their little playing boards there that is the best case scenario so we're definitely going to grab it for 2.99 why not so i thought i just found something amazing and it might still be pretty good this is a monopoly from 1975 they're asking six dollars and i looked it up on amazon and you guys can see i think that's the same person undercutting again at 23.99 then this person's at 30 and then 50. So it's not out of the question to try and get $50 for it. There's two concerns I have. Concern number one is the box is a little damaged up here and that could definitely hurt the value. But the reason why I almost want to negate that is take a look at this. Everything inside is still sealed in its original plastic from 1975. All the pieces are still completely sealed. So it's, I almost wanna just grab it for that. I don't know if I've ever found something like that. And uh, the box damage is the only pain in the butt. But I think having all the pieces inside sealed negates that. If it were $2, I definitely would grab it. $6, let's take one more quick look at that price. Yeah, if I'm stuck selling it for 30, Let's see how much money I would make if I had to sell it at $30. All right, so there we go. If we priced it at 30, we'd make 13.83 before the $6, so we would double up. Um, but I think we could get closer to 40 or 50 because all the pieces are sealed. What would you guys do? Would you let the little bit of box damage dissuade you from buying this? I'm still kind of on the fence. I'll leave it in the cart for now. Let's go check out the electronics. So I was gonna go up and check out the electronics. I turned around and here is the media. Oh, I have to take a look. I see some VHS tapes also, which I haven't been finding a lot of those at thrift stores lately. Let's back my car out of here and go check this section out. Okay, I love finding a, hi Stuart Little. I love finding a big media section. Got a whole bunch of sealed stuff right there. Um, probably nothing great. Some old Doctor Who up there, really cool. They got a whole bunch of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is just start scanning through. If I find anything, you guys will see it. I might not find anything. That happens pretty often. <laughs> Let's see what the prices are. Yeah, two ninety nine dollars for a DVD. It's about three bucks, yeah. That's about average. I see some $1.99 mixed in, so really, it's, it's about average. And then the CDs appear to be $1.99. So good prices. I'm gonna grab everything sealed in the CDs, scan them, and then DVDs. I kind of know what I'm looking for there. I also kind of like this monkey smoking uh, something, smoking a substance. That's kind of funny. Oh, what is this? That's Spyro? It might be. Okay, okay, I'm getting distracted. All right, the very first thing I pulled off the shelf is a winner, the Nutcracker. Great rank, selling for $18.45. I'd make 10 bucks, minus my three, so $7 profit. Uh, going on the cart. 
All right, so I was looking for anything sealed. I looked down and I pulled out this CD right here, brand new sealed, and it's only $2. Here it is selling great on Amazon for 16. I'll make just over six bucks on it. So the profits are stacking up. All right, so I went through pretty much everything and I thought I was gonna strike big because I found those two things right off the bat. I only found one more DVD. I'm gonna make like eight bucks on it. So we're gonna go check out the electronics now. Luckily, the electronics section looks a little packed. I like to see overloaded sections. There's gotta be some hidden gems sitting in here, right? Gotta be one thing. There's an old Sony Dream Machine. I sell the newer versions of these. This old one might have some value, but it's not something I wanna mess with. It's a little, little too outdated for me. What else do we got in here? Uh, knockoff game controller? No. Uh-oh. There's a Sony Control Center. Not great, a DVD player, VHS players can be good. VCRs, I still, well, I don't find them too much anymore, but they're almost all worth money. Uh-oh, it looked good over here until I actually got over here. Doesn't look as good as I thought. Oh man, I have sold so many of these in the past, and one of my very first big finds was a brand new sealed Sony Psych, and it was huge for me at the time. I sold it for 200 bucks, and I couldn't believe it. This was about eight, nine years ago, and I haven't found one in a while. This one's in really rough shape. Uh, I have no idea if it works because there's no batteries in it. Um, it's, it is in rough shape. I don't even know if I wanna grab it. Let's see the battery compartment. Oh, you could tell a couple batteries exploded in there once or twice. It's a little dirty, but it's not too, too bad. I don't know. I think in this condition, it's not going to be worth it. It's a shame. Uh, I'm going to leave it behind, but they used to be worth great money. They still might be worth pretty good money. This is the uh, Sony D-NE300 Walkman. Very crazy. So I was about to keep walking and I wanted to look it up real quick because I would hate myself if it was worth a lot of money still. And here it is, take a look at that. 35 bucks, 20 bucks, 25 plus shipping, 19. So it does still sell really well. Lots of sales around 30 bucks um, in better condition than this. And this actually doesn't have a price surprisingly, but uh, in better condition, this doesn't have headphones. I don't know if it works. I think in this condition, it's probably closer to $20 but again I don't know if it works so I'm gonna leave it behind but if you find some and you hit some buttons it has batteries in it and it works keep an eye out it's still worth great money so I found the little goodie bag section there's actually some really cool stuff in here like in this bag for $2.99 I noticed this plane that looks like an old transformer it's metal and it looks like it's a transformer but it's missing a big piece right here I think it is anyways uh, there are some cool older toys. There might be another Transformer back in there. Uh, I don't know for certain. Let's see what else we got. I think there's another Transformer right here. This bag is $2.99. I don't know how old this one is. Let's see. I don't know what kind that is. Pretty cool. Here's some old wrestling toys, but they look like dollar store toys. I think that looks like a knockoff John Cena down there for $2.99. Uh, Uno Harry Potter, and no. Uh, um, oh, is that more dinosaurs back there? It is. You can see dinosaurs all over this place. What else do we have? Oh, there's a whole bunch down in there. Let's see, what do we got over here? Is this another Transformer? No, this is called Switch and Go Dinos. Okay, does this plane turn into a dinosaur maybe? I don't know. What else do we got? Some dragons, lots of army men. All right, I pulled out some cool sets that I kind of liked. This one right here is $2.99. It's a whole bunch of different rocks in here. There's like an arrowhead made of obsidian I like. There's lava rocks. They're all brand new in these little bags. Jasper. It's just cool. For $2.99, I'm getting that. This right here is also $2.99, but there's a whole bunch of Mickeys and Minis and Donalds. 
uh, from oh, 2013 Mattel. I'll have to do a little research on that. It's not as old as I thought. Do they all say, yeah, they all say 2013, even the Goofy. So I'll take another look into that. And then this one, I just thought was cool for $2.99. I saw a Pikachu in there. There's a Bulbasaur. Um, another Pokemon, some Scooby-Doo's. I just love these little grab bags of toys. You never know, you could get lucky and find something pretty valuable. And I like going through them. So I definitely will get these two. Uh, I'm gonna double check these guys. I think they're all from 2013. Uh, so basically I'll just go to Google type or eBay and type in 2013 Mickey Mattel, see what comes up. Okay, so after doing a little bit of research, these are all from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And you guys can see right here, the Donald Duck's going for four plus shipping. Not bad, actually. Uh, Goofy's going for about the same. Mickey and Minnie are going for about the same. So in reality, you could probably lot them all up and maybe get like 25, 30 bucks out of them. At $3, that's not bad. I might grab them. They're not in the best shape. Look at the nose. See how the paint's coming off the nose there, off there. But I didn't find any of this bird or the cat. Uh, are they also from the same thing? I think they are. I'm gonna try to look into the little animals. Maybe those are a little harder to find, so they're worth a little more. I don't know, let's do some more research. All right, so here is the entire set, selling brand new for 25. Uh, so the condition of the figures really matters. The little rough condition, $2. I mean, they're not really going for much, but I cannot find anything with the little bird or the dog or the cat. I think I'm gonna leave it behind. Yeah, I think I'll leave it behind for someone else. I'll get these two. Taking a quick look at the clothing, look at this crazy all over Venom print shirt. This thing is sick. It's not super old, I don't think, with this tag right here. It just says Marvel on there. I don't see a year. I assume it's gotta be like 2020. Or is that 215, is that 2015? I don't know. It's not in the best shape. The color's a little yellowed up, but the artwork on here is just, it's completely wild. I love it for five bucks. I don't know, I'm thinking about getting it. I did look it up again on Google Lens just by taking a picture of it. Let's see what showed up. Here it is, somebody selling on Poshmark for 22. Somebody has it for 73 on eBay. I don't think it's actually going for that much. I got a whole bunch of nice shirts here. This Eastern Mountain Sports with the metal snap buttons for 4.99, that's a great price. It looks like most of their shirts are about that. Oh, uh, well, 6.99, uh, 4.99 great price on this stuff. I'm not seeing too much of anything I'd want to flip, but a lot of variety, a lot of great stuff for good prices. Yeah, Brooks Brothers for seven. Brooks Brothers is usually priced up. Ralph Lauren for seven. Seems like that's the max. It's really not bad at all. Wow. It's a shame I don't mess with clothing, clothing too, too much because I don't think I'm going to buy anything. I did not grab the Venom. It's really cool, but just, I, I don't know about it. Let me know. Oh, this is a great brand, Untuck It. I used to sell this all the time. It's come down in value. $7, pretty good price. It's like a corduroy -y. Uh, It was just dry cleaned. I might grab that for seven. I wonder what these are going for now. This brand right here, it used to go for 30, 40 bucks all day. I, you know, I think it came down into like the high 20s. Uh, if I'm right, you guys will see it up here on the screen, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it at seven. It's just a little too high.